everyone. Um, I just want to start out with a question. What has God placed in your hand? Do you remember the story of Moses in the burning bush? You remember God told him he wanted him to go to the most powerful man in the world, the Pharaoh at the time, and say, let my people go. You know the story, right? Well, Moses was really questioning himself and questioning whether or not they would ever listen to him. Matter of fact, let me just read for you from Exodus 4. It says, then Moses says to God, what if they will not believe me or listen to what I say? For they may say the Lord's not appeared to you. And the Lord said to him, okay, what's in your hand? And he said, well, it's a staff. And God says, well, throw it on the ground. So he throws it on the ground and it becomes a serpent. And Moses runs from him. He flees from it. But the Lord then says to Moses, stretch out your hand and grasp it by the tail. So he stretched out his hand, he caught it, and you know what happened? It became a staff again back in his hand. So here you have Moses, who goes up to a burning bush, all right? And God asks him to do something, really, that's humanly impossible, all right? And then he just goes, and he's, well, what's in your hand, Moses? And God says, just throw it down. Well, and, then, and when he does, something that was dead comes alive. And when he picks it back up, again, it turns it back into a piece of wood. Friends, can I tell you, God never does a miracle to show off, okay? There's always a principle behind it. So what's this staff thing all about? And I really think it's about three things that pertain to our lives right now. You see, first off, you know, that staff to Moses, it was his livelihood, okay? It said who he was. I mean, he was a shepherd, okay? That's how he made his money, all right? That was his income. That's his second thing. You know, everything he's got is tied up in sheep, all right? And thirdly, it represented his influence, okay? Uh, he used it to move the sheep around. Either he used a hook to pull them or the nook crook to, to move them along. You see, his staff was his career, it was his income, and it was his influence, but you, but you remember what happened, what God did when he says, if you're willing to lay those things down, okay, you're willing to lay those things down, all right, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make you come alive in ways that you never imagined. You see, God with the staff, we kind of represent God's staff, you know, if we're willing to let the Holy Spirit work through us fully, and we're willing to lay down our livelihoods, okay, our, our influence and those things to the movement of God, he can do tremendous things. See, but yet what happens when we do those things, every time we decide to pick them back up again, you know, we're a little worried about this, or well, I don't know about my career here, and you know, it's about my income and my influence. The moment we do that, we become back just a regular piece of wood again. Friends, we're God's staff. Okay, we're a staff. And friends, look, and really, I, I want you to look at me here. Look, at whether you got a little or you got a lot, okay, if you'll just say to God, whatever you have, I will lay it down for you. I will let you use me, just like you used the staff that was in Moses' hand. I will, whether I got a little or I got a lot. God will do miracles in your life. Let me say that again. God will do miracles in your life when you surrender to him. Friends, your income, your career, your influence, do you understand you're, God, you're God's mouthpiece to the world? It's actually your, your ministry. So can I encourage you as I close here? Be, the, be God's staff to all the people that he puts around you and puts in your path. God bless you.